as the world is becoming more and more digital and businesses and processes are going online, have you found yourself wondering how to add value to your online community? Have you found yourself wondering how to generate more clients online? Have you found yourself wondering how to generate content? Have you found yourself wondering what to write, what, what not to write, what to say? If yes, then today's topic is definitely for you. And the topic of the day is how to add value to your online community or to your online clients. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to another video. My name is Nikki Verd and I am the author of the hit book, Disrupt Yourself or Be Disrupted. I am a speaker and a digital strategy consultant. On this channel, I give you tips and nuggets on how to disrupt yourself, reinvent yourself, upskill yourself, redefine yourself, recreate yourself so that you can succeed in the digital world. And if you are new to my channel, remember to hit the subscribe button below and give this video a thumb up if you love this type of content. Thumb up. Whether you are looking for a job or you are a business owner or you are selling any type of product or service online, the best way to stand out from the crowd is to be able to provide some sort of value to your online community or to your potential employer. Gone are the days where people just buy without first doing some sort of research on a particular product or on a particular service. The million dollar questions are, will your name or the name of your company pop up during this research process? Are you creating content? Are you innovative in how you are putting yourself out there? If I were to Google you or your business right now, or your name right now, what will come up? The digital era and the web landscape has provided the means for everyone to have a digital footprint and a voice. With a computer or a smartphone and access to the internet, you can become anything you want to be. You can become your own PR. You can blow your own trumpet. You can tell your own story. You can become your own publisher and so much more. Back in the day, in the age of our parents and grandparents, you had to be a celebrity or have connection in ha connections in high places for a journalist to even look in your direction. Not to mention writing about you in or your business or about your business in any newspaper. But today we have that power at our fingertips. We can tell our own stories whenever we choose to. The internet and social media platforms have given us this opportunity not only to create content but also to reach a global audience. So, why aren't you using your voice? Why is your business only known among your neighbors and friends? It doesn't matter which industry you are in. Anyone with a smartphone, a social media account, a website or a blog is your competition. And I have a very personal story to tell you guys about how creating content and providing value to my audience has opened for me so many opportunities. So stick around till the end if you want to hear that story. Businesses that provide value and answer customers' questions with educational content before customers even ask them will be the winners in this digital economy. Is your business or service providing value or is your website just a digital pamphlet with a shiny logo on it. Content is powerful, content is king. I am sure you have heard those words. Remember, education is no longer confined only to a classroom, as I mentioned in my previous video. Education is now on Google. People are buying from businesses that are educating them with content. Content has the power to create relationships and real bonds with customers. For example, think of someone you've never met in person, but you've been following them on social media and you're always consuming their content. It could even be a business. It starts to feel like you know them. It starts to feel like you can do business with them. It starts to feel like you can trust them. It starts to feel like you can actually recommend them to someone else if an opportunity or to do business arise. And that's exactly how others will feel about you and your business or your brand if you start providing value to others online. And so you may be wondering, okay, where do I start from? What kind of content do I create? What do I write? Oh my God, what do I say? Don't worry, I've got you. 
and so here are just a few examples uh, of the kind of content you could create and the kind of things you could write about it's random you can pick and choose whatever fit you, your different type of business or your different type of uh, of industry or whatever is it you're doing you know even if you're a student there's something you can always write about so my first example is if you're selling for example say blenders then you can write content around maybe best smoothie recipes or how to make coconut milk think of different uses of blenders and come up with topics to write about it's that simple another example is if you're selling speakers or maybe sound systems you can write content on how to organize a party or how to organize a backyard party think of party ideas event ideas and all ideas directly or indirectly linked to using speakers you know another one okay if you are a student start being active on social media especially on linkedin write content around your industry or the industry you want to get a job in focus on solving problem research on what problems that particular industry is facing right now and offer solutions write articles you know that address a particular problem and give solutions to that someone somewhere is going to read that you never know who can read it and if you are looking for a job instead of harassing people on linkedin with your cv focus on providing value in the industry in which you want to work with just like what a student we normally do like what i've offered as advice for a student to do do the same thing write content provide solutions be visible be active focus on being problem solving solution oriented and someone will notice you be visible be loud don't sit on the fence hoping that someone is going to find your cv on their inbox and they forward it to the main person and then you're going to get a job just like that times have changed what are you bringing to the table showcase that to your audience showcase what you're bringing to the table online and you will stand out from the crowd that is the power of content if you are selling travel bags or suitcases think about writing content about maybe backpacking or how to pack a suitcase you know give tips on how people can best pack off for a trip and you might be thinking but no one googled that stuff believe me you'll be surprised the kind of things that people google including me and so look for things and ideas and imagine the kind of things that people google online and write content on that if it's related to your industry if you're a lawyer for example write content around your specific niche of law if you are a speaker and author like myself then provide value or, or, or articles or content around topics you usually write about or speak on for me i write content on technology digital transformation disruption innovation and how one can recreate themselves in an in a world of disruptive change that is basically what i write about if you are for example a graphic designer write content on choosing on why certain brands chose certain colors for their businesses you know write on the psychology of colors why would a particular company choose uh, an orange color instead of gray write content around that if you are a mechanic show people how to diy certain aspects of their cars you can do that through video content infographics or step-by-step -step articles there are different ways in which you can go about it if you're selling baby accessories, provide advice and tips for new mothers. Uh, provide tips, write content on baby care and things like that. Another example, if you are into fashion, provide content perhaps on fashion trends around the world, around the globe. Think of something. If you are into real estate, ask yourself what kind of information are people looking for? People that want to buy houses, what kind of information they are looking for? Write content on that. There is content for every industry, whether it's logistics, hospitality, hospitality or healthcare. There's always something to write about. Don't sit on the fence and hope that your clients or someone or your employer will notice you. No, those that are loud and visible will be noticed. The more value you provide, 
the more people would trust your business, the more people would trust your brand, the more people would trust you as a person. It is not about posting what you sell every day. It is not about posting your products every day and hoping someone is just going to pop out cash and pay you. No, it is about educating people. It is about providing value. You know, people don't like being sold to. So if all you are doing is putting your product in the face, in the, in the, in the face of people every single day online, they, they will just start ignoring you. But if you are providing value, people will start paying attention to what you have to say. If you start writing things that solve the problems that they're looking or problems that they have, they will start paying attention to what you're saying. But if all you're doing is posting a product or a service, this is what I do, this is what we do, this is what we sell, no one is going to be paying attention to that. That is not content. And that brings us to the final part of the video, which is my own personal story that I promised you guys at the beginning of the video that I was going to share with you guys my own personal experience in creating and adding value to my audience online. And someone asked me not so long ago, like Nikki, how do you get to have these speaking gigs and even get to travel internationally? And I gave a quick response to that question by just telling her, well, I'm loud and I'm visible online. That response lingered in my head for days, if not weeks, because I kept thinking, wow, that's literally how I build my brand. Literally, that's how I have built myself. You know, that is how people got to know that there is a Nikki Bird and this is what she does. I remember writing an article around, I think, October, November 2019. And this article went literally viral on LinkedIn. Uh, it had about 15,000 likes, if not more, about a thousand shares. And there was so much engagement on the article. And so many people, you know, got connected to me via that article, including the people that organized the Africa Tech Summit in Kigali. And that is literally how I came, you know, beca became part of the, the speaking team. Um, for the summit in Kigali in Rwanda. That is how I got to travel to Rwanda via one article that I wrote. That article, the same article back in South Africa, had I had two radio interviews because of the article. People saw online and were like, hey, Nikki, we have to interview you about this article. And so there is much more, you know, about my writings. When people usually approach me or contact me or email me or inbox me, about an event what they usually tell me is like we have been following your content and we have so and so event coming up and we think that you would be a great fit for what we are planning or what we are trying to do and so this is what i have experienced myself and if i'm saying you create value for your for your audience or for your for your customers for your clients it is something that i've seen work for myself and so I hope that you take the lessons and you apply them in your own personal life, whether as, an, uh, as, as someone looking for a job or as a business person, these things work. It works. Yes, these tips works. These ideas I've shared with you today, they do work. And I hope that you can take them and apply them right away in your business and start building an online community that will find value in what you do. And if you enjoyed this video and want to know more of what I write about, you can head over to my online home, www.nikivert.africa. You can also get my book. It's available on Amazon. I'm going to put the links to this video below. And for those that are in South Africa and want to get the hard copy, it's available at Exclusive Books South Africa at Bagain Books South Africa. I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.